hatches the egg. Now, once in a jungle, or so the tale goes, there lived a strange bird that most everyone knows. Her name? It was Maisie. She was mean as could be, and never seemed happy while up in her tree. Sighed Maisie, this lazy bird hatching her egg. I'm tired, and I'm bored, and I kinks in my leg from sitting. Just sitting here day after day. It's work. How I hate it. I'd much rather play. Then Horton the elephant passed by her tree. Hot that raw, then on the real raw, and a to one to one to four. Hot that raw, then on the real raw, and a to on. Uh, I still can't get the word to that song. Hot that raw, then on the real raw, and a to one to one to four. Hot that raw, then on the real raw, and a to one to one. Hot that raw. Then on the real rock and a to one to one to four. Hello? Called the lazy bird, smiling her best. You've nothing to do, and I do need a rest. Would you like to sit on the egg in my nest? The elephant laughed. <laughs> Why, of all silly things, I haven't feathers and I haven't wings. Me on your egg? Why, it doesn't make sense. Your age is so small, ma'am, and I'm so immense. I've got to get off for a rest, otherwise I'll never get rid of these bags neath my eyes. I'll hurry right back, why I'll never be missed. Very well. Since you insist, I'll stay and be faithful. I mean what I say. Sang out Maisie and fluttered away. <laughs> Pardon me. Then carefully, tenderly, gently he crept up the trunk to the nest where the little eggs slept. Then Horton the elephant smiled. <sighs> now that that. And he sat, and he sat, and he sat, and he sat. And he sat all that day, and he kept the egg warm. And he sat all that night through a terrible storm. It poured, it lightened, it thundered, it rumbled. This isn't much fun, the poor elephant grumbled. I wish she had come back, because I'm cold and I'm wet. I hope that that mazy bird doesn't forget. But Maisie, by this time, was far beyond reach, enjoying the sunshine way off in Palm Beach, and having such fun, such a wonderful rest. I think I'll never go back to my nest. Sally, I won't. And then came the winter, the snow and the sleet, and icicles hung from his trunk and his feet. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant, an elephant faithful. One hundred percent. Kazoon height. Poor Horton sat there the whole winter through. And then came the springtime with troubles anew. His friends gathered round and they shouted with glee. Mm, look, Horton the elephant's up in a tree. They taunted, they teased him, they yelled. How absurd. Blimey, Horton the elephant thinks he's a bird. They laughed and they laughed. <laughs> then they all ran away. And Horton was lonely. He wanted to play. But he sat on the egg and continued to say, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. An elephant faithful, one hundred percent. 
But while Horton sat there, so faithful, so kind, three hunters came sneaking up softly behind. He heard the men's footsteps. He turned with a start. A rifle was aiming right straight at his heart. Did he run? No, not Horton. He stayed on that nest. He held his head high and he threw out his chest. And he looked at the hunters and he said, plain as day. Food if you must, but I won't run away. But the men didn't shoot, much to Horton's surprise. They lowered the gun and they stared with wide eyes. We'll take him alive. Why, he's terribly funny. We'll sell him back home. To a circus for money. You're coming with us. To join, join a big show. show. But Horton just answered, You can't make me go. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, oh yes, we can. can. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, oh yes, we can. can. Oh, no, you can. Oh, no. Oh, yes, they can. Then out of the wagon and on to a ship, out over the ocean, and ooh, what a trip. Well, now I've seen everything. Rolling and tossing and splashed with a spray. But Horton said day after day after day. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. But <laughs> I am seasick 100%. Sold to a circus. Then week after week, they showed him to people at ten cents a peak. Poor Horton grew sadder as days came and went. But he said as he sat in that hot, noisy tent, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. <whistles> An elephant faithful, 100 percent. But, dawdling along way up high in the sky, who, of all people, should chance to fly by but that old good-for-nothing bird, runaway Maisie. I'm still on vacation. Yeah, and still just as lazy. Then, spying the flags in the tent just below, she sang out, What fun! Why, I'll go to the show. <laughs> Rarely I will. And she swooped from the clouds through an open tent door. Gasped Maisie. I've seen you before. Poor Horton looked up with his face white as chalk. He started to speak, but before he could talk, there rang out the noisiest ear-splitting squeaks from the egg that he'd sat on for 51 weeks. My egg. Horton gasped. My egg. Why, it's hatching. But it's mine. Screamed the bird when she heard the egg crack. The work is all done now. I want it back. She sputtered. You stole it from me. Get off of my nest and get out of my tree. Poor Horton backed down with a sad, heavy heart. But at that very instant, the egg burst apart. Then Horton the elephant saw something whiz. It had ears and a tail and a trunk just like his. My goodness. My gracious. Good heavens. My goodness. My goodness. It's something brand new. It's, it's an, an elephant boy. <laughs> Yes, he meant what he said, and he said what he meant. And they sent him home happy 100%. Hunt the rock, and the rock. And so, and so, and so forth. Hunt the rock, and the rock. And the rock, and the rock.